Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First, we're all on winter storm watch with the threat of snow covering the region tonight. The storm could have a major effect on the Thanksgiving travel period. Accumulation in the Chattanooga area could be up to 1.5 inches. We'll also see lows in the mid 20s on Wednesday and Thursday night. If you're traveling tomorrow, you'll probably want to put it off until later in the day when the snow subsides. Now, if you're headed south or to Nashville, you probably won't see too much extreme weather. But if you're going north, you'll want to take caution. The Knoxville area is expected to get nearly six inches of snow. Also, gas prices in Chattanooga have jumped by about 10 cents a gallon in the past week, but they're still cheaper than they were last year. And if you're flying for Thanksgiving, you won't have to worry about severe weather here or in Nashville or Atlanta. But major hub airports in the north could see significant delays and cancellations. Stay with the Times Free Press for updates. A 27-year-old mom has received two consecutive life sentences in the deaths of her children. Tasha Bates was found guilty in August of first-degree murder in the deaths of her sons, 5-year-old Leland and 3-year-old River. Both died of extreme overheating inside a hot car during summer 2012, though Bates repeatedly insisted that she discovered her boys lifeless in the yard. Prosecutors alleged that Bates neglected the boys because she had meth in her system. The child neglect and meth convictions have amounted to a 40-year prison sentence that will run concurrently with her life sentences. Her attorney says Bates effectively faces life in prison without parole. Knoxville police have arrested a student who allegedly tried to set his teacher on fire. It happened during a class at West High School. Police say the teacher, 23-year-old Gabriella Penalba, had turned her back to the class when the 15-year-old boy tried to set her shirt and hair on fire with a lighter. Other students helped extinguish the flames before the teacher's skin was burned. The teenage suspect allegedly tossed the lighter out the window and ran away, but was later caught and admitted to the assault. The petition challenging Chattanooga's same-sex partner benefits is a third of the way complete. More than 1,600 signatures have already been gathered. 4,500 are needed by December 3rd to petition the ordinance. Organizers say the petition is being promoted through billboards, radio spots, and online ads. And at least five area churches have provided copies of the petition during Sunday services. Chattanooga Whiskey Company has tapped Mayor Andy Burke's former top official to lead the company. 33-year-old Andrew Keene will take over as president in December. He served in the Burke administration for just six months, where he helped the city's budget and reorganization. Chattanooga Whiskey co-founders Tim Pearson and Joe Ledbetter will remain at the company. Keene's immediate job will be overseeing the construction of a new $6 million Tennessee Stillhouse downtown. Investigators are trying to determine how a man and his vehicle caught on fire while he was pumping gas. The incident happened Monday at the Murphy USA gas station on Greenway View Drive in Brainerd. The 32-year-old man was pumping gas when his pants caught on fire. Thankfully, some Good Samaritans grabbed a portable fire extinguisher and put out the blaze. The victim received first and second degree burns, mostly to his legs, and he's expected to survive. Finally, some Georgia police officers are going to start wearing body-mounted cameras. Officials say officers in the Georgia Department of Natural Resources like wearing the devices because they record an accurate depiction. The ACLU says the cameras can guard the public from abusive police practices and protect officers from false accusations. Officers aren't required to tell citizens that they're being recorded, and in accordance with state guidelines, the video footage will be stored for five years. Turning to weather, we'll see plenty of rain today with a high near 45 degrees and snow overnight. The low tonight will be around 32. That's today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.